In this module, we are going to look at how to create a web API project. So let's start it. The first thing I'm going to do is just open the view studio and simply go to the file new project. And then let's click this web option under real C sharp category and simply select the ASP.NET web application. You can see here we have two different options. One basically is used to target ASP.NET Core and the second is used for simple ASP.NET. Well, in this course, we are not going to target .NET Core. So let's use the ASP.NET web application. Well, you can create the MVC application as well as web API with this template. All right, let's name this application. I'm going to name it Codes API then just click OK and here you will see a new window for some other templates well this window says that what kind of application you want to create with ASP.NET obviously in this course we are going to create the web API but right now let's start with the empty template so that we can easily pick up all the concepts behind the web API and as soon as we will move forward in this course, we will add the web API template. But right now, let's select this empty template and at the middle of this window, you will see some checkboxes which basically says that what kind of folders and references you want to add in this project. Because we are not going to build the websites in this course, so let's uncheck the other two options and in this course, our focus is to create the RESTful based web APIs. So let's select the web APIs option and simply click this OK button. Now wait for a moment because the Wheel Studio is busy to make our project for us. And here we go. So you can see that our project has been created. Now let's close this window because we will need this when we will deploy the web API to some cloud services like Microsoft Azure. Right after this, let's go to the Solution Explorer. If you can't find the Solution Explorer on the right hand side, then simply search for Solution Explorer in the search bar. And here we go. Now in the next module, we will take a look at the architecture of this application. See you in the next module.